All right, good morning, Washington Eagles. It is a mindful moment time. Um, we could say a mindful moment is to go get your dog or your cat and just love on them for a minute because they say that it does make you feel good to, um, to hold on and to pet one of your little animals, a dog or cat or a hamster or whatever you may have at home. I know a lot of you have dogs. And so yeah. go love on your puppy dog or your kitty cat. And, um, but today we're going to play Don't Go Bananas. And so I actually ordered this game prior to shutdown and, um, I've never played it before. So we're just going to do, I'm just going to be answering a few questions. And, um, I think the object of the game is to get, um, the colors of the cards are, um, red, blue, green, and yellow. And I think... Um, the first person to get three sets of red, three sets of blue, th three sets of green, three sets of yellow wins the game. But I don't know. Um, of course, you can, if you don't want to, I guess, answer a card, then you can give it to somebody, put it in their pile, and then they have to answer it. But I think we should probably work together to see um, who wins once we get back into school. And so um, we're just going to do, um, I'm just going to be answering some questions and having some fun. Okay, so my card is, oh wow, look at me. I get a brain break. Take a break this turn. Hmm. Lucky me. I'm not going to do that. All the animals, that's another brain break card. Good gravy. Okay, here we are. It's a blue card. So I drew a red and a yellow. And so those would go in my red and yellow pile. Now I drew a blue card. And it says, what do you think about um, someone who makes you worried? What do you think about someone who makes you worried? So um, I'll think of a person that makes me worry. Um, I guess makes me kind of anxious. And um, so... Um, I sometimes get nervous around Dr. Parsons. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess because she's she's the boss boss, and I've known her for a long time, and she's very she's very kind and very sweet, and she has gone upset with me, and um, and that's okay because I know she loves and cares about me, and so um, when people um, I know Leo get down love and care about me, it's okay if they get upset because. I know it'll be okay. So I, I get worried around Dr. Parsons and I'm like, okay, um, is she going to be upset with me for something? Which doesn't happen very often, but it has. And so, and she'll just give me advice and I'm like, okay, I got it. Good. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, Leo, get down. You little pet. Holy animals. He's a maniac. He's a little pest. So let's do another card. Okay. Here's a red card. What makes you jealous? So jealous is kind of a hard, um, for me I think jealousy is something that's kind of hard to explain. Um, like, what makes me jealous? Um, well, I'm an adult and so um, I, don't, I don't really feel jealous very often. Um, I feel like sometimes, um, okay, so maybe um, with Mrs. Big B, she is super smart and she knows what's going on. And sometimes I'm, I guess maybe I'm kind of jealous that I wish I had this not level of knowledge that she has um, when it comes to helping students. And so, but I know that I can always go talk to her. I can always ask her questions and she is there to help me and she's there to help you. So, that's my question. So, I have two red, one yellow, and one blue. Here's another blue card. <clears throat> what do you think about when you're worried? Okay, so my first card is someone who makes me feel worried. And, and what do I think about when, I, when I'm worried? Well, I think I, I get worried a lot. I worry about my students. I worry about my children. Um, I worry about my mom. Um, so I, I'm kind of a worrier. I worry quite a bit. 
and if I feel worried, I, um, like, I'll call mom, and, um, I just, I call parents, and I check in on my kids, you know, Lily's living here with me, and so it's easy to check on her, but Ryan, you know, he doesn't live here, and so, um, so I just text him and say, hey, how's it going, and, you know, he sometimes texts me back, and sometimes he doesn't, so I am a worrier, that's for sure. So, two blue, two red. Okay, <clears throat> how would you feel if you got lost? Well, I would feel kind of scared. Like, sometimes we go hiking at Mount Scott, and um, I've never felt like I'd get lost at Mount Scott. I, I don't usually very often meander off of trails, um, <clears throat> but as a child, I would get scared when I got lost because I love playing outside, and sometimes, you know, I'd play outside after dark, and I didn't always remember where I lived, and, um, and so, yeah, I would definitely be scared if I were a child when I got lost, for sure. So I have three red, <sighs> two blue, one yellow, and a cat that is a turkey. Okay, brain break. Okay, now I have three red. I need a yellow. A green card. There we go. Green, yay. When someone is crying, how do they make you feel? Well, I definitely, um, if someone's crying, I tend to want to cry too. So that's usually how I feel if someone's crying, is it makes me want to cry. And then I just want to help them if I can. So, I have, we'll do one more card. I've got one green, one yellow, four red, and two blue. Oh, here's another green card. Yay! How do you act when you're sad? Um, typically, when I'm sad, I usually, um, I like to be by myself when I'm sad. So, if I'm sad, then I'll go back to my room, and I'll just, um... I'll just sit down and either write my journal or maybe I'll watch some television. Um, sometimes I cry when I'm sad, and but usually I like to be alone when I'm sad. All right, so we have, um, let's see, oh, brain break, green card. Let's see if I can get one more yellow. <gasps> what do you know, a yellow. Think of a time when someone made you jealous. Are there clues that they didn't mean to? Um, again, as an adult, I don't really have that. Um, I mean, personally, I mean, I'm sure there are adults who get jealous. Um, um, I'm trying to think of maybe a time when I was a child when maybe I felt jealous. Um, So, you know, when I was um, a child, and I've told a lot of you this, is I wasn't a very good reader growing up. I was not a strong reader, and I definitely I wasn't a strong speller. I definitely was jealous of children who could read well and who could spell well. And, um, and I would shut down, like spelling bees, holy animals, I can't believe that's a thing. Um, we all had to do the spelling bee. I was mortified. It was horrible. And I would just intentionally just miss the word no matter what because I wanted it to be obvious that I didn't want to be in the game. And so, you know, spell, you know, spell, I don't know, um, glass. And I would intentionally just say these crazy letters just so I would not be part of the spelling bee. So I was definitely jealous of kids who could read well and who could spell well. And so, um, but eventually I was able to do both and it wasn't until I was older and that's okay. So anyhow, um, I think that is all for today. I have three green, two yellow, four red and two blue. And so next time we are in together, we can play this game and, um, and have some fun. All right. Uh, until next time, stay safe. Love you guys. Bye.